Hello, uh, today is September 12th, 2018, and again I want to speak about um, the first and the last. And, um, you know, Jesus comes as a thief, and we wonder, you know, what does that mean? He comes quickly. Behold, he comes quickly as a thief in the night. And uh, I was just kind of praying to God about it. And, you know, Jesus came because of man's failure. Jesus came because of his failure. Who is that man? Who is the man who failed? Uh, you know, he's the man of sin. He, he, uh, he sinned. His punishment is death. And Jesus came and died for that man of sin. And He's coming again for that man of sin. He is the first and He is the last. And I just believe when He comes again this, this second time, you know, it is as a thief in the night. And um, He will catch many unaware. Um, at his return, um, and it's just a it's a difficult thing uh, to understand. But I've uh, I've been walking with God, seeking to understand um, what's been going on in my life uh, from a spiritual standpoint. And there was a time where God told me, in my case, that I am here because of his failure and I've oftentimes wondered you know who that person's failure is who is that person that failed and I I came to understand you know you could look to point the finger at any number of other people but you really need to look to point the finger at yourself you know Jesus came for your failure for your sin to cover your sin and um, so earlier I was talking about the terrorist. And um, would we be willing to forgive the terrorist as Jesus did on the cross when he says, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. So um, this is some, some understandings that I have. Uh, it all speaks towards forgive forgiveness so that if you forgive others your father in heaven will forgive you and we have to have uh, an openness and a willingness to forgive and um, you know I believe that that even goes so far as to forgive God and forgive um, God's angels named Satan um, you need to be willing to forgive for all those things that he's stolen, that he's killed, that he's destroyed. Um, they very well may have been taken um, according to God's, um, you know, what God allowed. There's, uh, there's nothing that, that um, you know, that, that happens that God um, didn't have some say or... or, or that he didn't know or allow to happen so we need to be careful um, in trying to say what's right what's wrong uh, what's of the enemy what's of God you know because even Jesus he said you know not my will but thy will be done you know and it's not our kingdom it's God's kingdom Jesus is our king and he taught us so clearly. There's nothing that I'm teaching you here that he didn't already teach. He said, love one another. And, um, and love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. And um, show mercy. So that you may be shown mercy. Forgive others so that your Father could also forgive you. 
right now as I'm sharing this, there's a torrential downpour, so I'm in a little covering here, but um, I just believe that there's going to be living waters that will flow to those who receive the message of truth. But those who fight against the message of truth, those living waters, it'll be like a, um, a drought. I don't know if you can see the rain. But if there is no rain, it gets pretty dry, very desert-like. And uh, whatever it is you think that you have is going to dry up and wither. Um, so just seek, seek the Lord Jesus. Seek His truth. He leads us in, into the path, uh, paths of righteousness for His name's sake. You know, so there may be at a time when I was like that man of sin or the one that Jesus died for, that I am here because of His failure, my old man's failure. That's why I'm here. So now I seek righteousness, that I could be a new creation in Christ Jesus, that I could lead others out of their uh, times of trouble, out of their situations where their life is, is in drought, um, to bring it into an understanding of God and those living waters which flow through Jesus Christ, His Son. We must have the Father and the Son in order to have life. All right, God bless you in Jesus' name.